Hi and welcome again to Tech It Out. Today I've been given this old Dell PC. It's a Dimension 2350. It was thrown away because it was boot looping. It was outside the door and I asked and they said, yeah, take it by all means. So I picked it up and brought it home and I'm going to try and get it working. First thing you'll notice is just how dirty it is. It's full of dust. This could be contributing to it overheating and causing the boot loop in. So we're going to open it up and look inside. There's one grub screw at the top here, which is a bit loose and wobbly. So we'll take this out. Probably don't need to take it all the way out. It's probably a captive, but never mind. It's out of the way. Then we have this lock clip here. Now it's a little bit awkward to do this one-handed, so I'm just going to cut the scene from here. And now we've got the side panel unlocked. We can take it off. And as you can see, it's quite dirty inside. It's not the worst I've ever seen, but it is quite dirty. Lots of dust and cobwebs. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to just take a normal Hoover. Not recommended, by the way, because it can be a bit too powerful. But I'm just going to take my ordinary Hoover with a extension on it and clean out all the dust and all the cobwebs and any remaining spiders that may be in there as well. Now I've speeded this up, it's actually two times the speed. Otherwise you'd be sat here bored to tears watching me hoover an old PC. The green cover you can see there is an air duct leading up to the fan at the back of the case and it draws air across the heat sink on the CPU. A bit different to modern heat sinks and fan arrangements but uh, works all the same. So we nearly finished. Just get all the dust off the bottom. See the hard drive is still in there as well. It's also a Wi-Fi card. Now we're going to boot it up for the first time to see if it will actually boot and if the cleaning's done any good. Again, I'll speed it up a little bit. And I am going to have to jump cut from here again because when it boots you'll see that the previous owner hasn't wiped anything. He's left everything on there including his photograph, all his files and a lot of his account information. So we go here to this photograph. As you can see the CPU when I took the heat sink off had absolutely no paste on it whatsoever. So the next job was to put some paste on it. Then Slightly different angle this time, and a different camera. We're going to try booting it up again. And again, I'll just speed it up a little bit so that it uh, gets there a bit quicker. Press the enter button to start normally. I'd actually forgotten just how slow Windows had booted in the past with an ordinary hard disk drive. I got so used to using an SSD, a PCIe SSD at that. So now you see it's all booted up. I've taken the chance to clean it all out as well, clear out all the rubbish that was on there, and do a complete security wipe of the hard disk, reinstall. And as you can see, it's working pretty well. So far it hasn't boot loop. It seems to be stable. What I'll do now is I'll just run it for a little while. And if it is stable, I'll do what I usually do and I'll pass it on to somebody who can't afford a PC of their own. Maybe a student or someone like that who needs to do some work from home or write essays. Information about the PC there. And the last thing I'm going to do is switch on System Restore. Of 
So there's a fresh restore point. If anything happens, they can always roll it back. So there you go, a quick cleanup of an old XPPC. Thank you again for watching.